it's Stella from Ibu University and this is Stella short and sweet preview for five counts of the West Kingdom from Garfield Games. It's 980 AD. Uphold the loyalty to the king as one of the five counts but gain the favor from the people whatever it costs. The game plays 1 to 4 players, with mechanics such as deck building, resource management, and rondo. The game is of medium to heavy complexity. In the game, we are five counts, building your own deck of cards, playing them efficiently to engine build your strategy. On your turn, you play a card from your hand. The card will dictate how far you move your five counts on the rondo map. You'll eventually have a total of three active cards each round, slide them to the right, discarding the oldest one if more than three. The symbols on the cards are making that particular action more efficient. Then depending where your fight count stops, you can do one of four actions. One, trade resources, mainly to gain more action points for other actions and money. Two, construct building will help you on the engine building part of the game, not to mention victory points. Three, Set collect manuscript tiles to earn points and other bonuses. 4. Place workers in the middle castle for immediate bonus and end of game points. You must keep an eye of your opponents and adjust your strategy. If a lot of deaths are collected, then collecting deeds may score you more and vice versa. After either deaths or deeds is empty, game end triggers and player with the most points wins. There are a lot going on in the game, and many ways to play and score. A few mechanics and icons are familiar to the fans of the West Kingdom series. However, in addition, there are some unique mechanics introduced, such as the middle castle. When you reach three of your workers in a space, you advance one worker to the next step. The other two go left and right. There are three steps, and the higher steps the better are the points. And you can set chain reaction to send workers away, although owner will get some bonuses. You can get more cards from the center when you get a recruit action, and this is the way to build your deck. And similarly, other symbols to trash your card. There are skulls or corruption you can collect and play, and when you play that right, you gain benefit, especially if you see the game is heading to a certain direction. These are just some of the features of the game. If you'd like to see more, we'll have other videos that I'll link in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching guys. At the time of filming, Five Counts of the West Kingdom is about to be launched on Kickstarter. So I'll put in the description below when it is live. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Meeple University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. So hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time.